Our next presenter comes to us from NJM Packaging. Tom Kessler is the product manager for the United States and Canada. NJM, which is part of Promoc Pharma Solutions, is the exclusive sales agent for DARA in the United States and Canada. DARA offers innovative aseptic liquid filling, closing, and associated machines specifically designed for the pharmaceutical, biotechnology, and cosmetic industries. Welcome, Tom, and it's all yours. Thanks, Perry, and good morning, and welcome to the second virtual pharma show. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about DARA's aseptic filling machinery. And as Perry said, my name is Tom Kessler, and I serve as the DARA product manager for the U.S. and Canada. Before we get on to our presentation today, I wanted to tell you a little bit about Promoc, NJM Packaging, and DARA. Promoc is one of the largest, if not the largest, packaging machinery manufacturer in the world. Promoc has grown to more than 50 best-in-class brands, many of which you know. We have more than 4,500 employees globally, located at 80 manufacturing sites, including more than 500 engineers, 300 sales professionals, and 200-plus service technicians. We have installed more than 125,000 machines and 30,000 customer locations around the world. In 2021, Promoc companies sold more than $1.5 billion of packaging machinery, which was growth that's been driven organically as well as through acquisition. If you are familiar with Promoc, you know that we are divided into business units by related machinery that includes robotics and end of line, labeling and coating, filling, bottling and capping, handling and sterilizing, flexibles, and my business unit, Promoc Pharma. You can learn more about Promoc at www.promocpharma.com. I bet in Promoc Pharma, we consist of four companies, and I bet most of you know some of them. Weiler Labeling Systems, best known for providing high-quality pharmaceutical labeling systems. PharmaWorks, known for their best-in-class thermoforming and cartoning machinery. Serpa Packaging, known for cartoning and case packers. And finally, my brand, NJM Packaging. NJM is one of the original PMMI companies, and we recently celebrated our 100th anniversary. We're known for manufacturing high-quality, solid-dose packaging machinery, like our patented belt torque capper, labelers, cotton inserters, and we partner with best-in-class manufacturers like Kramer and Dara. In order to provide complete solid-dose or aseptic fill finish systems, and we have provided more than 500 complete systems during the last 30 years. You can learn more about NJM at www.njmpackaging.com. As Perry indicated, NJM is the exclusive representative for DARA Pharmaceutical Packaging in the U.S. and Canada. DARA was founded in Barcelona in 1996, employees located in three plants, and DARA's reconnect recent acquisition of Cool Vacuum allows DARA to be one of the very few manufacturers in the world that can provide customers with a completely integrated aseptic fill finish system. That would include machinery built solely by DARA companies and would include freeze drying with alus, fill finish, and DARA manufactured isolators. I'm now going to take you over to the DARA facility in Barcelona and introduce my colleague and good friend, Camila Tuteva. Camila? Good morning, everyone. My name is Camilla, and I'm a sales coordinator for the U.S. and Canadian markets at Dara Pharmaceutical Equipment. And I thank you for joining us at this event. Today, we're going to show you one of our solutions for aseptic processing of ready-to-use formats, being that a combo line for filling and closing of vials, syringes, and cartridges. For today's demo, the machine was adjusted for 10 ml syringes. Uh, later, I will take you to the production area and show you the machine running. But before, I would like to explain to you its um, modular design concept and the way the other two formats are processed. During this event, um, you will listen to several presentations, and I'm sure that you will get a lot of interesting information, probably uh, too much concentrated uh, because of the time limits. Um, that's why I would, like to take, uh, I would like you to take away from our presentation the following three um, key concepts. The first one is several formats, 
processed on a single line and the line comprises several modules that are used or not depending on the processed format. On this line, the debugging, the deleting, and the denesting modules are common for all three formats. The denesting module, um, let's say, is a double denesting module. Why? Because first of all, uh, we take out the nest out, um, out of the top and then we denest the formats. Okay, uh, now we'll start with the bile processing uh, sequence. So we have debugging, deleting with top frame, uh, frame heating, then automatic denesting, then uh, in-feed with uh, non-glass-to-glass vial, tearing, vial gas flushing, filling, uh, weighing for 100% IPC, stopper positioning, inspection, alucup positioning, then alucup crimping, and a complete inspection. Then we go to the renesting module, top coating, and we are out. The syringes. The beginning is uh, the same. Now here we have the tearing module, then the syringe gas flashing, the syringe filling, uh, weighing, uh, then stopper positioning, inspection, automatic renesting, top coating, and the final outfit. The cartridges, the same non-glass to glass uh, in feed, uh, then plunger positioning, plunger inspection, gas flushing, filling, Trimming station used only for cartridges with overfilling, then alucap positioning, alucap crimping, and again, a 360 degrees inspection. Automatic renesting, top coating, and we're out. So, just to sum up, we have a unique line with several different models that are used or not depending on the format. So now we're ready to go downstairs and see the machine. And so Tom, I will see you a bit later. Hello again. So I'm here at the production area and this is the combo line that I was talking about for processing of ready to use vial syringes and cartridges. As I mentioned before, the machine is adjusted for the syringe format today. The syringes are supplied in tubs and bags, so the first thing that the operator does is to expand the bag and put it onto the conveyor. That would lead the tub towards the debagging model. Once the operator puts the tub on the conveyor, from that point, the whole processing sequence is fully automatic. So, in the debugging model, the back is cut and then the top is, is pushed um, towards the deleting module through a sliding door, which has the same size as the top in order to avoid any cross-contamination between the modules. This is the deleting module. There is no glass cabin here because this line was designed to be integrated into an isolator. So the tabs coming from the debugging module um, get under the heating position where this device heats uh, melt the glue of the tab trim for uh, typical removal with no particle generation. Then the robot 
grabs the Tavik lead, takes the inner liner as well and discards both of them. Well, we are approaching the filling and closing module, so it's time for the syringes to get denested. The first robot picks up the nest and puts it on the um, format platform. The platform then turns 180 degrees so the second robot can take the syringes and put them onto screw in feed for non-glass-to-glass -glass contact. Meanwhile, the first robot picks another uh, nest and puts it on the platform. Then the platform turns and the sequence is repeated. The nest with their corresponding, and this is important, with their corresponding tops are guided through the conveyor outside the isolator. Okay, so here is where the syringes are gently transferred to the linear rack system of the filling and closing module. The first station you see here is the is a plunger insertion station for cartridges. Uh, the plungers are inserted from the bottom and then the position of the plungers is verified by this visual uh, camera check. Dara Pharma can offer different filling solutions, different filling systems like, for example, peristaltic pumps, time pressure system, uh, powder filling, or volumetric filling system, like in this case. Moreover, here you can see that the line can, or the filling system can um, integrate uh, cleaning in place and sterilization in place application. An important tool to reach the product safety. So, uh, the filling sequence starts from uh, four tearing cells, then we have four nitrogen flushing nozzles, then the product filling nozzles, and then extra uh, four weighing cells for 100 weight in process control. This is the trimming station which is used only when uh, processing cartridges. Uh, this station is used to get the product to the very top of the cartridge without overfilling. Okay, once the syringes are filled, we get to the plunger insertion station. Well, the plungers are fed through the vibrating sorting bowl, uh, then pass through the vibrating lanes, and here they are inserted. And just as we've, we've seen before, uh, when talking about um, cartridge plunger insertion, here as well we have another camera which checks the correct position of the plunger. When it comes to the vials and cartridges, these are closed by um, server-driven tangential rollers, followed by a complete visual inspection. In case of the syringes, these, uh, after a plunger insertion, these are directly headed to the re-nesting unit. Such a long line, right? But here we are. It's the last module, the re-nesting module. Here, a robotic arm picks up the processed syringes and cartridges and puts them back uh, into their nests. The tubs then are headed to the coding system, but it's in this case, uh, because the line can be perfectly connected to, um, to a downstream uh, labeling system, labeling machine, or syringe assembling machine or uh, accumulation table or a tray loader in case of uh, vials. Thank you again for joining us and hope to see you in Barcelona. Goodbye. I want to thank everybody for taking the time again and viewing our video. If there's any questions, we would certainly take them now. Hey, Tom, that was great. Uh, yes, live event, no. you know, things happen sometimes. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, so uh, that was really impressive. I, I was impressed by the number of checks and balances and inspections 
uh, throughout uh, the system that Camilla was uh, talking about. Uh, so uh, a few questions. Does that uh, can you handle cartridges with the system that she was demonstrating? Yeah, the machine that she's demonstrating can handle vials, cartridges or syringes. Before we lost our PowerPoint presentation that she was doing prior and she had to go over to the machine, we were going to explain that to everyone about how we processed vials, syringes and cartridges throughout that system. All right. And then uh, a little bit different question. Uh, so one more question. Uh, this is kind of a two part question. Uh, do you have lab scale uh, type freeze dryers? And then what is the largest freeze dryer that you have? We do. We manufacture everything in DARE and cool vacuum manufacture lab freeze dryers, everything to small tabletop systems all the way up to 45 square meter systems that will hold hundreds of thousands of vials. And then just one final, uh, do you uh, offer washers and dehydrogenation tunnels for handling bulk vials and uh, cartridges? We do. So DARA has the capacity to handle both RTU, as you saw in the video, as well as bulk vials. And yes, we have washers and depyronization tunnels of many sizes. Thanks for asking the questions, Barry. I appreciate the time today. Yeah, great job, Tom. That was really impressive stuff. Uh, the automation is something else. Thanks a lot.